Hello everyone, Neil from Merch Informer here. Today I just wanted to do a video going over the importance of reviews, how to find real reviews versus fake reviews, and if you should be going into those niches where the top sellers do have more than one review. So the reason that I bring this up is that my sister is getting into Merch by Amazon, so if any of you have other family members that want to make some more money, highly suggest that you get them into the program. But she sends me a list of different shirts that she had researched through Merch Informer and asked me to just double check them to make sure that she didn't make any mistakes or that anything was trademarked. She didn't want to get hung up. So I'm going through this list and I noticed that many of the shirts have, you know, 5, 10, maybe even 15 reviews. So I start looking into those niches and I realize that each one of those niches is very competitive. So I see that the shirts that she put into the favorites module have been selling for over a year and have all these different reviews and have consistently stayed above the competition because of these reviews. So my experience has been when I personally do research for my own account is that when I find a niche where the top sellers have more than a single review, I, I don't go for that niche. I try to look for something else because from my experience, when I got started, I priced really, really low. So I did as many, well, as much volume as possible, which led to reviews, and those shirts are still selling to this day. So if you come across a shirt with, you know, maybe one review, then I would consider going to that niche. But other than that, I would probably stay out of it. So when you are doing your research, there are a few things to look for. So right here, as you can tell, we are in the Merch Hunter within merch informer and here are the top selling shirts on amazon so we'll just use this one as an example this solar eclipse shirt it's a really really hot niche right now you can see they have 24 customer reviews so you come down the page here all the way down to the reviews and you will see this section now there's two things to look for one is that are the reviews real and the, and the way you see if the reviews are real is you see this little verified purchase tag here. If you were to click in and see all the reviews, you'd see that all of these customers have purchased the shirt. This person has not purchased the shirt on this account. Okay, So this, all of these you can see are all verified purchases. So since this is doing so well, it's selling so many, that that you know customers will come back and leave a review this is what you want since there's no way to reach out to a customer personally this is the best you can hope for when you're doing volume let's just go back here um, and talk about these that do not have a verified purchase tag on them you might come across a few different shirts when you're doing your research where you open it up and you notice that okay it does have a few reviews but as soon as you scroll down you don't see any review with a verified purchase tag. So that means that someone has come in here and used multiple different Amazon accounts to leave a review on their own shirt, but you know through a different account. So none of them will have the verified purchase tag, and you will be able to come in here and click the name of each person. So as we can see, this one's verified, but if we click Eva, it will open up their review pa reviewer page where you can see everything that they've reviewed which apparently she reviewed a car. Not really sure about that, but you can see that she bought these sandals, reviewed that. She bought this shirt. She also reviewed that. So one of the things that you can do if you come across any of these unverified reviews that don't have the little red you know, verified purchase tag there is you can click on their name and see, oh, are they reviewing different shirts? If so, are they from the same brand? So a very good example of that would be, let me just open this up real quick. So if we come over here and we sort these by average customer review, we are going to see that these shirts right here have received a lot of reviews, right? So we click this one and say it says 34 reviews, it's priced at $19.99, just a little emoji, which by the way, don't put emoji in your listings. Don't want to do that. So you see it has 34 reviews. Just click on that and come down here. You see verified purchase, verified purchase, verified, verified. So these are real buyers that bought something and either liked it or didn't like it. But, is it, but then as you continue to scroll down, 
we'll just go to all of them, the most recent, you notice that a lot of them say Amazon customer and they're all around, you know, the same time period. So you wonder yourself, huh, you know, I wonder, I wonder what that's about. So you can simply click on their name, which will bring them to the paid, the reviewer page. And you can see exactly what these people are doing. So for example, this Amazon account has reviewed one, two, three, four different shirts. And guess what? If you open them all up, we have one brand, second brand. Oh, that's funny. That's the same brand. Open up this one. We notice, oh, that's the same brand too. Oh, would you look at that? This one brand is different, but apparently he's splitting things up. So that's just something to be aware of when you are doing your research. If there are a bunch of fake reviews, then I would absolutely go into that niche because eventually Amazon's probably going to take care of this problem. Um, if they do have a bunch of real reviews as we went into with this shirt. So if you see 24 customer reviews and you scroll down and they're all verified like this, that means that shirt has been up for a while and it is selling consistently and there's probably going to be a lot of different competition because from what I've seen if you can get one verified review a one five-star verified review like your shirt is going to continue selling into the future okay it's not gonna sell once and then die off as, as soon as you get that one review then you are golden but you know it gives you the so it gives the customer the social proof that they need in order to look at the design realize that, yeah they like that design but then they get the social proof that it's rated five stars and they're going to go ahead and purchase that design so that's just a few things to look out for i would highly recommend that you stay away from niches that have top shirts that have a bunch of reviews because there's a million different niches out there with a lot less competition so that's about all for today if you guys have any questions about reviews and if you should or should not go for a niche drop them below in the comments like this video and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you.